uh, here at Eastern Egg Rock, Atlantic puffins nest beneath these large granite boulders like the ones I'm standing in. And if you look uh, to my right, you'll see some red and white numbers that are painted on the rocks. These are indicating uh, puffin burrows that have been active in the past. So we spend long hours sitting in the observation blinds watching for adult puffins uh, bringing in fish down into these rock crevices. And that tells us that there's uh, an active puffin burrow in a nest with a chick. Puffins only bring fish down into the rocks when they have a nest with a chick in it. And so if we see this over and over uh, for 21 days, that gives us a way to measure puffin reproductive success. We consider that a chick that's been fed for 21 days is uh, a fledged chick and that nest is successful. Um, we also do puffin reciting, we're, re we're reciting uh, banded individuals and we do try to trap unbanded birds or birds with worn bands using uh, box traps like the one that you can see here. Basically uh, it's a hollow wooden box with a trap door on the top. This one has a decoy and some decoys around it to encourage the puffins to uh, loaf in this area. When a puffin stands right in the middle of the trap, an observer sitting in a blind is holding the end of this string. There's a pin attached. This pops out, the trap door falls in, and if you're lucky, a puffin falls down into this box and its fall is cushioned by uh, some pillows. So then we come running out, we grab the puffin, uh, we band it, we take some morphometric measurements, and then release it. Uh, in addition to the reciting and banding efforts, we also do puffin feeding studies. And we're trying to identify the different prey items brought in by parent puffins to feed their chicks. So an observer sitting in a blind is recording things like uh, the quantity of items brought in, uh, the size, and their identity, which species of fish, uh, for example. Uh, black guillemots also nest in these boulders and they tend to feed uh, more on red rock eels and black-bellied rosefish, whereas the puffins feed primarily on hake and herring.